three more of these videos left for the NASCAR 2005 season mode. I don't know what more really to say. I really don't. If you see stuff on my face, it's it's proactive. This series cannot be bothered to make a decent game. I'm not going to be bothered to even take the proactive off my face. I had a little bit of like birthday cake. It's not birthday. No, no birthdays. But it was just a cake. Um, so I'm scared because that makes me break out. Even though chocolate apparently doesn't, but there's so so much correlation with that happening. So I got that ready. That's probably the most interesting thing in this race is that alone. And I have to click onto the other screen. So yeah, paint scheme. Uh, the Daytona car looks nice, good, very very cool. Um, point situation. We have to kind of keep on the lookout for Dale Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon. Those seem to be the four that are going to be or the three. That are very competitive, so that's it. There's not a whole lot else to say. Let's get into it. Bill Weber, try to hype this race up as best as you can. EA Sports welcomes you to the Lowe's Motor Speedway just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. This one and a half mile track is a jewel on the NASCAR circuit. It set the standard for the speedways of the future while keeping a firm grip on the glory of the past. History and happiness could be the story today. Just six races remain in the chase for the championship, and all the challengers will have their foot to the floor in the UAW GM Quality 500. Now that is a call. That, that, that got me hyped up a little bit, not gonna lie. So our setup, that's what we got. I didn't even get, I, I'm so discombobulated. Thank you to my tier two Patreon people, as well as my YouTube members, support channel, first you get early access videos, as well as general emotes when I stream and all that good stuff. Thank you for what you guys do, I appreciate it. Let's get on pole and kick this field's ass. Oh yeah, so uh, in the Coke 600, I ran 20 tire pressures. Here we're doing 18. That seems to be faster and doesn't really hurt our tire wear as much. So that might've been just the strat for Maybe the majority of this entire season is going with the 18 PSI. I don't know. It might have saved, I don't know if it would have saved us in Michigan, but it's helped. That should be a pull as per usual. Might, maybe kind of gone a little bit faster, but that's still pretty good regardless. I didn't see Jeff Gordon in the qualifying order. I saw Jimmy Johnson Jr., but I don't know where Gordon is, so I'm a little bit, that's kind of good. But of course, everybody else that's competitive is up there, so that's that's the wedge. And that's pretty much it. So we just have to nail the start, do good with that, and we should be fine for the rest of this, presumably. But yeah, this race is going to be so important to build up points because Homestead's a big question mark. I thought Kansas was going to be a big problem. It turned out to not be the case. So everything is just upside down in this season mode, apparently. But at least we're going to probably end this season with at least 20 wins. So that's comforting. But yeah, we're good in the lead. I'm just going to chill. Well, it's a quick race update. Uh, we almost have a four-second lead. Tire fall off almost seems non-existent, which is so crazy considering the Coke 600, there was such a noticeable difference. I guess those two tire pressures, the difference, it's just that that makes it so much of a difference. I, I guess, I don't know. It's just, it's weird. It looks like we're finally starting to dip a little bit just in terms of the intervals, so. It took long enough. Too bad we're going to be pitting in the next four laps. Hitting this lap, we have about a three second lead. We lost maybe about six tenths in the last couple laps. Not too bad of a fall up in comparison to other races, but even then, I still don't even know if that's a big enough gap for the pit crew to be okay, because I do not trust them at all. Stand up for a tire stop regardless, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, I mean, hey, you know, you know, legs are hard, you know. You just put one foot in front of the other. It's, you know, he forgot. He forgot leg day, but yeah. So, uh, we're gonna have a bad stop, and there goes our three-second lead. That's a horrible camera angle. Even despite the error, that was only nine-tenths of a second off. Which I'm sort of impressed with, but... Yeah. I'm sure we're gonna lose all that in here. But look, at Elliot Sauer is right behind me, so... Yeah, we did lose a lot of time. But luckily, our car is fast, so we should be fine, regardless. Just trying to keep it on the bottom of the track. Trying to be even-steven with everything as best to my ability... And I guess that's it. We're going to cycle in the lead with no problem. I mean, they definitely caught up to me. But this is why we built up that lead, just in case. And we're going to cycle back out into lead, I think. Jimmy is leaving pit road. So it looks like Junior's going to be fourth. So we're definitely going to get point, uh, gain points on him. That is still crazy. We're barely going to beat Jimmy out of pit road here. 
lost three seconds during that pit cycle. That is some freaking honky-tonk nonsense if I've ever seen it. I don't know why that's a thing I've been saying lately, but it feels appropriate. But back in the lead, and we should be fine for the here on out. Just, it gave me a scare. I guess that's as much as I can praise it for. Five laps to go. Our gap has been about 2.4 seconds. That's about the highest I've been able to get it. We, unfortunately, I think earlier in the race we were able to pull like three plus seconds, so, or it was like 3.7 or 8 or something, so yeah, it's not as dominant of a run compared to the first one, so, or I guess I mean the first half of the race, but yeah, but still, we're still winning. Uh, Jimmy second, I think, Ju I don't know where Junior's at, but we're going to have a good point day regardless. Flag flags out, the gap's gone down tremendously. Another, like, half a second. I guess if you call that tremendously, I mean, that's like one-fourth of our lead just cut in half almost, so. I don't know. Um, but still a dub, still a great points day. I really don't know what to say. I mean, Martinsville's going to be this, but even more so, so. Um, wish this game would just be fair. My fucking controller, shut the fuck up. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? What the fuck? Why the ever-loving shit did it shut off? That was fucking bullshit. I don't even have an explanation. It just shut off. For no reason. And because this game is stupid when the controller disconnects, it doesn't pause the game. It just keeps going. Why? Why did it do that? That is unbelievable. We lost that fucking race because of that. This game kissed my fucking ass. I can tell you that much. That is just ridiculous. I've never, ever lost a race in that fashion before. I, I got nothing. I, I really don't. I mean... I, I'm, I'm like... I don't even have words. I absolutely don't even have any words to get robbed in such a way. I mean, that's like Casey Kane levels of bad luck. Um, I... I, I don't even know what... To, I, I can't even fucking... I can't even think. Usually it does that when the batteries die, but the, the they turn right back on immediately. Is it because of my gamepad viewer? Is, is there an issue with that? I, I mean, I've never had an issue with it before, so I don't think that's I don't think that's related. We just had some freaking awful ass luck. This game just I don't even understand. Thankfully, Jimmy's not a championship competitor. I mean, I guess he kind of is. And we did lose points to him, like five points, but I I don't I got nothing. To lose in that manner is so asinine. I can't even process it. I don't even know what I, what else could I have done to even... I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Can we just go into Martinsville and just freaking absolutely eviscerate the competition? Like, I would love that right now after that fucking bullshit right there. Let's just change the paint scheme. Let's just get into Martinsville. I'm just pissed. I'm really, I'm really, really fucking pissed about that. I just... I've never, ever... Have had that happen. I've sneezed in races and I DNF. I've never had just the car. The, I mean, I've had the batteries just like die. Like the batteries die. And that's why that happened. This time it just. It just stopped turning. I mean, you even saw that in my thing. That thing uh, the controller just completely shot because the gamepad viewer just completely just became disconnected. So <laughs> I don't know. But what I do know now is we're going to go into Martinsville. It might be a boring race, but I want to win it. Actually, we should look at the points, too. Because I'm just so annoyed. Uh, Jimmy did gain points on me. But we did gain on Junior, which is good. We need that. Um, that's our top 10. I don't even think I even looked at the results properly. How could I? My brain is so frazzled. Just get into Martinsville, get pull, rip the field apart. The tiny half-mile Martinsville Speedway in Virginia has played a huge role in determining NASCAR winners for more than 50 years. But now, this short track knows just how big it really is. Just five races remain in the chase for the championship. And to earn the title, 
a driver must have a big day at Tiny Martinsville in the Subway 500. Good introduction. I don't really think I have any problems with it. Uh, Jeff Gordon, alternate paint scheme. That's fat. That's fire, as the, the the youth would say. But let's get pull. Elliot Sellers, alternate scheme too. So, all right, all right. That's a pull. Good. Let's just, just let's just win. Let's just absolutely just kill the field. Have no, no content. I want to make it as boring as I could possibly be. Just gotta be careful in turn one. I think I took it too easy in turn one. The weird thing is, I hit nothing in that entire race that would indicate even the controller to disconnect. I have no explanation. That is just the strangest phenomenon I've ever came across. Normally, it's just like a battery thing, and you know, you gotta change the batteries out. This is... It's not even that. Because it wouldn't have turned back on immediately, so I don't know. Maybe it'll happen again, and then it'll confirm it's a battery thing, but... For now, I'm just assuming it is just a one in a thousand freaking weird thing. Oh wait, I technically I lost the race, so I gotta turn the lights on. I didn't even think about that. I'm, I'm my brain is falling apart. It just disconnected again. Are you fucking kidding me? It is not the fucking batteries. It is definitely the fucking batteries. You kidding me? You piece of fucking shit controller. What is the? How did I break? This is- I can't fucking pause the goddamn game! This is fucking stupid bullshit. How is it still- How am I bringing it- I'm not touching anything! There's nothing on! What the- Like, what the actual fuck is happening today? I guess the batteries are dying. I don't know. I don't have a fucking idea. Get me back into the game. Get me back into the goddamn game before things go horribly wrong. Turn the controller on! Turn on! It's not turning on. What the fuck? Oh my god! It's all it's all over the fucking ground. I'm no no. This is fucking bullshit. I, unless I like put them in wrong out of fucking desperation, but this should turn the fuck on. Please turn on. There. What the fuck is happening today? There goes so many laps. There goes so many positions. For no reason. I guess the batteries are dying. I don't know. There's no gauge. There's no anything to like tell when the batteries are dying. It just dies. There's no... You can't look at it. It just... It, you just... You find out when it dies. And I just... I guess that's just what happened. Usually when they... They just are dead straight up. They don't turn back on and work immediately. Like, it, it, none of that made any sense. Lost so much track time. We're giving Jimmy Johnson laps led that he doesn't need to have happen. Like, and I got this is like the last pair of batteries. This is the one out of the uh, the, the 361 that I was just using for the Inside Line series. So I know those are brand new. But this game is weird with the vibrations because I'm not really... I don't really pick up much. So if I do hit something, which I didn't do at Charlotte to even ascertain any inkling of it happening. But, yeah. We're just going to have to... I mean, we're still in a great position to probably win regardless, but... Whatever. This game's giving me a lot of mid-boring-ass races. This one's giving me, like, the most wildest thing ever. Go to rock the corner and make the pass. Haven't done really pr any practice here, so I'm kind of just going into this cold turkey. Because I kind of figured that this was going to be a pretty easy race. But no, no I, it, 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 instead it was going to be the most just batshit crazy race I've ever quite recorded in this. Maybe the entire season. Except for maybe Chicagoland, but like, jeez. And of course, Stewart's going to block me off the track, not give me any angle in the corner. We're still going to get a good exit off because our car is just really good like that. And now we just have to run down Jim John for the lead, which shouldn't take too long. All right, cop to Jimmy. That didn't take too awfully long. Of course I fucking hit. Let me just make a legit pass for the lead and it'd be chill and normal. I don't want to feel guilt getting the lead. That like, is it that hard to ask to just get the lead and not run him over? Please, can, I, can we get the lead and run away? Okay, thank you. 
We're gonna be pinning here shortly, so I'm sure we're gonna lose all this time. We're gonna get on him regardless, because our pit crew's terrible. Can the field just exit pit road normally? Is it that hard to ask? I'm pitting this lap. What a what a frustrating race. A lot of things that just aren't in my hands, but just four tires fuel, and let's have the picker just mess it up for good time's sake. Yeah, we stop too. Yeah, just make it worse. Just make this whole video worse. I think this 360 controller just strapped. I think I just broke it trying to get it out of the fucking thing because now it won't even close. I think I just broke this. So that's great. I can never use that again. I don't know what the picker was doing because I was looking at my controller because I was frantically trying to get the fucking uh, the batteries in. So because of this stupid ass game, when the batteries die, it just there's, there's no no controller disconnects the game pauses for you. No. Uh, so, this game just broke my OG 360 controller that I had for like 16 years. So, uh, thank you NASCAR 05 on the Dolphin Emulator for being a shit. So, thanks. And because of the horrible pit stop, we couldn't even beat Jimmy out of pit road. Like, what else? What the fuck else could possibly make this episode? Even when I hit the curb there, no vibration. So... When the batteries die, they just die. It's like, oh, we can hit the home button. Look at it. It's either full bars or, like, nothing. There is no in-between, no progression. I guess there is progression. But a lot of times, it just shows full battery. Doesn't give you any damn hint. So, yeah. That's the con of fucking emulators. Is that shit. Can I just have the lap cars not literally block me into the inside wall? It's Ricky Rudd, too. I thought me and him were on good terms. Now he's not blocking, but, like, I'm, I'm tired of that, too. I'm tired with a lot of things. And I'm tired with the AI doing that shit as well. Alternate scheme for Joe Nemechek. It's new. It's new to me. All right. White flag's out. Last time I thought this would have been a normal race, but no, of course not. This one also had to be annoying. So I guess, has the controller ever vibrated in general with this game with me? I don't know. I guess maybe it never has. I don't really pay attention to it. So, see when I, when I hit that, the home button, this is all I see. This doesn't tell me anything of my battery life. So, when it does just die, it just dies. See, the battery says full health, but I guarantee if I put the old ones in, it's not going to do a damn thing. It's, it's, it's going to act like it's just 100%, so mm. I don't know. See, the old ones are... Okay, it says battery low. Now I just look like a fucking hypocrite. But see, it just says low. It just doesn't look like it's orange. I have noticed no assertion. I don't, what the fuck ever. So we win Martinsville, but it's not as big of a margin as a spring race because of everything going wrong. I mean, I guess everything did technically go right because we still won by big margin, but still annoyed. Um, we do gain points on everyone, just uh, not as much. I mean, maybe if we never had that caution or never the controller disconnected, maybe Jimmy wouldn't have led laps. I don't know if that really hurts or helps. I mean, it doesn't help us, him getting any type of points, but we only gained 20. So uh, I'm still not comfortable going into Homestead because this is not enough of a freaking buffer, so... I don't know. We'll just throw it in the interval thing. It's not going to be impressive, though. It's just going to be, like, in the middle somewhere. So, 7805, that puts it 27th. So, yeah, 27th out of 97. So, there's that, I guess. But the spring run was, like, what, 17 seconds that we won by? So, we're missing 9 seconds. So, I don't know. I'm annoyed. Everything about this part is annoying. I guess we finally had a bad race. It took long enough for it for us to finally have a bad race. Or I guess a bad episode, but it was still kind of good. We still technically gained points on pretty much everyone around us. It just... When I lose a race because of things outside my, con I, my control, like the controller... like the, It's like NASCAR Rivals, except the it's not the adapter being the problem. Just But the thing, I've, I've had controllers disconnect so many times. 
usually when it's a disconnect, the ba like I, I try to plug them back in or something. Like, it, it just it won't work. It won't come back on at all. This time, the one time out of like a hundred, it freaking decides. You know what? We're gonna work for a little bit and make you think everything's fine. Again, I don't get any vibrations in this game like ever so it's not like you know when i'm playing like heat 5 it's like oh i know when the batteries are dying like oh the control you know the controller doesn't vibrate as much and it's like okay i know the batteries are dying here there's no s warnings i so i'm not blaming this on me fuck it no that says 2003 on the trophy ea's being lazy just like how i'm being lazy not getting this bracket about my face fitting we're both lazy in our own way then yeah, so next up's Atlanta. I mean, we won here in the spring with that tire pressure adjustment thing. That might even be easier than before. Um, point situation, Jimmy might take over second place now. He does by five over Junior. We're actually looking really good with that, over 100 points. That's what I would ideally like. I thought we were a little bit under that. I thought it was like a 70-point lead, but I was, I was wrong. So Jeff Gorin's not doing too much. Stewart's just, he's still there. But it looks like it's between Jimmy and Dale Jr. trying to battle me out. So, yeah. Um, I think as long as we do, as long as we win Atlanta and Phoenix, I know we're going to win Darlington. I mean, if we could just win out those three, we might have enough points to just not have to worry about Homestead. So, I mean, that would be crazy. But, is that our 20th win of the year? I have to look that up again. Was that our 20th freaking win of the year? I think it was. That was our 20th win of the year. That could have been win number 21 there, but... Well, that kind of matches every other Thunder game. Uh, Thunder 02, we had, like, 23 wins. And then Thunder 03, we had 20. Thunder 04, we had, like, 32 wins. So, we keep up the, the pattern of winning at least 20 or more races. So, there's that. Anyways, I'm done. This was an unnecessarily angry part. And I didn't want it to be that way. And it's, t and it's late and I'm tired. I thought this was just going to be a chill... Whatever. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters today for our Channel 15, Comic Cons the Games, be like here, Max Daylight 1986, and my name is Sean for support. Again, I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. It is appreciated. Always goes a long ways. So thank you as always for the continued support. See you all next episode, Atlanta. Uh, we're going to go with the, you know, we're cycling back to the OG 2004 scheme for the final time, which is nice to see we'll be able to run it at Atlanta. So. I, ironically enough, that car DNF at Atlanta. I remember it blew up like really early on and stuff. So we'll change that twist of fate and maybe win. Anyways, I'm done. I'm annoyed. I'll see you all next video. See you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.